Today it was revealed that an all-time temperature record was broken at the Philip Golson International Airport weather station. Here again is Chief Meteorologist Ronald Gordon. We broke record here at the airport an all-time record yesterday. So we recorded um 99.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit, which is basically 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the first time in history since we have been keeping record at this station that we have seen such a high temperature at the airport. So that's something to note. Um, compared to yesterday, like I said, with the approach and the nearness of the, the station or the front, um, conditions are cooler than it was uh, yesterday. So that record, is it for the same day compared to other years? Because I didn't feel it that hot. <laughs> why, why might that have been? Yeah, well, feeling is that thing that is very subjective, as you as you may know. So um, different people feel heat differently. I don't know if you're in Belize City, but if you're in Belize City and not in the Ladyville area, it might have been a bit cooler. If you're closer to the sea, you, you will feel it a bit cooler. Um, I know for a fact that for me, it was very hot <laughs> here at the airport. Um, and to answer your question, though, yes, it is not only for the day. It is an all-time record. So we have checked all the records for different months, for different years. And what we have seen is that we have never gotten 100 degrees Fahrenheit here at the airport. So this is a first. But um, when is the peak for heat in Belize? Very good question. So the peak is typically late April on into May. Uh, May is typically the hottest month. So for it to occur in this early part of April is indeed something to be concerned about because we are actually, I would say, still in the beginning of the heat season and we're not at the peak yet. What was the um, highest before that 99.9? If I may recall correctly, and I don't have it in degrees Fahrenheit, I apologize. You may need to convert it, but it was 37.3 degrees um, Celsius. So if you want to compare them as Celsius to Celsius, that was 37.3. And yesterday we had 37.7. So it's about 0.4 degrees Celsius higher than the record that we had before. And the last record actually was set in... Uh, early 2000s. I don't have the exact year, but it was in the early 2000s. Gordon says inland areas, which are typically hotter than coastal areas, were not as hot yesterday. He explained what happened. The inland areas, as we refer to that, are typically hotter, were, were, were not as hot yesterday as was it here at the airport. And I'll explain to you why. Um, I think we had about the upper 90s inland in the Cayo area, which is typically into the hundreds or 101, 102. So um, what we had yesterday was a westerly wind. We had a trough that passed before the front. So when you have that trough dipping down, it creates a westerly flow. So we had a land breeze blowing into the airport. So the air was coming actually from where it is typically warmer, meaning that you will get heat, that heat that is typically in that area coming over us. So that's why we actually experienced that high temperature here at the airport yesterday. Um, we always say when we have a westerly wind without the front actually crossing, that's when we get uh, the hotter conditions. And that's the reason why, actually, we had issued that heat alert from the previous day. Gordon shared that since the 1960s, there has been a trend of increasing temperatures attributed to climate change.